let me ask you guys a couple simple questions. What comes to mind when you think of a home invasion? And what kind of criminal do you think of? Do you picture a person wearing a mask, armed with a firearm, who has potential to threaten your privacy or your life or your property? For most people who believe that the cops are the good guys, well, you would probably think this, but for the very people that's watching this video, I'm sure you already understand and you already realize that most of the time nowadays, the cop is the one who's doing the criminal activity. CBS 4 News Safety Alert. A man faces a judge accused of an attempted abduction. Police say he has admitted to. Police say the incident involved a 12-year-old girl. And that she fought back against her would-be abductor. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Opelika with the latest. Ty. Well, Elliot and Ruta Bay, I just talked to the couple involved, and they now want the Opelika Police Department to punish the detective involved in all of this. And they told me the most disturbing thing about this situation is that it all went down in front of their small child. No, nobody told you to come in. He shows a detective with his face covered and holding a gun in front of the couple's eight-month-old son. The detective had no search warrant. At that point, we would have needed either a verbal consent from the homeowner themselves or a written warrant from a judge. Do you guys need police? This new cell phone video from Byron shows the aftermath of this incident as he asks a nearby officer he knows for help. We got no the undercover detective entered the wrong apartment after a call to Crime Stoppers. The Crime Stopper tip came in that there was a, a male. They gave a clothing description of a white t-shirt that was running in the community itself with a handgun, harassing residents. Anytime a gun's involved, the officers, it's a danger for the officers and also the community at large. All right, guys, let's just call this like it is. This is breaking and entering by an armed assailant. It's a felony criminal act by a police officer who's wearing tactical gear and wearing a mask. That's all it is. This video was originally posted on Facebook last Thursday afternoon. My son right here, man. It shows an Opelika police detective inside an apartment. His face is covered and he's holding a gun. The detective is then seen taking the cell phone. He kept saying, if you got a gun, come out. He kept telling the person to come out, but it wasn't nobody here. The man recording the video accuses the detective of entering his apartment without a warrant and holding a gun in front of his young child. How he handled the situation was just like he tried to force his authority on us. He was like, real aggressive. Like he was like snatched the phone. Then when I was trying to recall him as he was going out the door, he like kind of slapped me and took the phone out my hand. To add to the list of charges, not only did he assault this man, he also, while in his home, in the man's very own home, he took away the man's First Amendment right, freedom to the press, and freedom to film, whatever he wants, and especially in his own home. What kind of person can barge into somebody's house with a loaded weapon and a mask on, with a child in the room, and demand that you are not allowed to film them? Come on now, what kind of world are we living in? Well, I'll tell you, it's a world where police infringe upon the very constitution that they swore to uphold and protect. A society where lawmakers and slimy politicians have tricked people into choosing safety over their own freedoms. The chief says police were at the apartment complex along Northwest 22nd Avenue near Opelika Boulevard for a Crime Stoppers tip Thursday. The caller claimed there was a person with a chrome handgun threatening people and asking for money. The door was already open, but we were standing in the doorway. 
we are standing in the door because we heard a loud noise, two doors down. The chief says the caller also told Crime Stoppers how the person looks and what they were wearing. Police admit no apartment number was given. Now this couple wants the detective punished. It's not the whole station, it's just him that needs to, you know, because he's like, he was too aggressive. He, he just came and forced his way in here. And the man who was recording that cell phone video says, thankfully, there was another officer present in the area that he knew of to help with the situation. Now, tonight, we did try to get the chief and the city manager to comment and get their reaction on this story. However, instead, they said that they are holding a news conference tomorrow at 11 a.m. And tonight, there is an internal investigation. Now, guys, this could be something as simple as a person who is open carrying and asking for money and all this violence and all the freedoms that have been snatched from these people and their lives been put in danger over something that's not even illegal according to these cops and their master's laws. There shows a masked undercover detective holding a gun barging into a couple's apartment. Tonight he has been relieved of duty and the police chief tells us the detective did not have a warrant. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with the chief and the couple. He joins us live from Opelika City Hall with the latest. Peter. While Ruta Bay and Elliot, the mayor, city manager, all said that they wanted to be transparent and proactive. That's why they wanted to move quickly. And the uh, police chief said that he even met with the man whose apartment that the police detective entered. That man is grateful action has been taken. Nobody told you to come in here. Opelaka's police chief says he is concerned about this video posted on Facebook last Thursday. By Jeffrey Byron and his girlfriend. There's no doubt that this police chief was concerned, but the question is, what was he concerned about? And I would almost guarantee that he's concerned about this video making his police force look bad and not about the family who was treated like crap. Right. It shows a detective with his face covered and holding a gun in front of the couple's eight-month-old son. The detective had no search warrant. At that point, we would have needed either a verbal consent from the homeowner themselves or a written warrant from a judge. Do you guys need police? This new cell phone video from Byron shows the aftermath of this incident as he asks a nearby officer he knows for help. We got my the undercover detective entered the wrong apartment after a call to Crime Stoppers. The Crime Stopper tip came in that there was a, a male. They gave a clothing description of a white t shirt that was running in the community itself with a handgun, harassing residents. Anytime a gun's involved, the officers, it's a danger for the officers and also the community at large. Now, did you guys catch that? Did you see how the mainstream news turned this thing around? As they mentioned the man in the white shirt, the camera showed that homeowner in a white t-shirt, automatically triggering your brain to think that he is the guilty one. Also, by mentioning that there's a gunman on the loose, they instill the fear in the viewers. But the real problem and what people should be in fear of is if you can see in the background there as the video is playing over these cops didn't just do this to this home they went in multiple apartments unwarranted searching regardless of anybody's freedom or anybody's safety they went right in and did what they wanted to do and the mainstream media just covered it up and ultimately taking up for the police when they should have been taking up for this family. But Chief James Dobson said this warranted the detective being relieved of duty would pay pending the investigation. But we are very serious about this investigation. It's going to be transparent and it will be professionally done. This new administration in the city of Opelika seeks to be the most transparent and responsive government in the state of Florida. Yeah, so transparent that they're going to leave out the fact that all these other houses, or apartments, I should say, got barged into 
and also had their freedoms infringed upon. There was a swift reaction for Byron and his girlfriend, Stephanie Crespo, the parents of Major Byron Jr. I'm more focused on being happy that he is off the streets and they handling this situation because this is not the only time they, people was made a complaint about this particular officer. I'm glad that they got him off, you know, out for right now and I hope that it stays like that. How he handled his situation is real crazy and, and he was just a loose cannon. Moral of the story, guys, don't trust the mainstream media and do not trust the police. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, make sure and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave me a like. And also, before you leave, make sure to stop by the comment section below and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this video and how this family's rights were infringed upon. And until then, guys, I will see you all in the next one.